There are a couple different ways to find out what your Salesforce campaign is. The simplest route is logging into Salesforce and opening up the campaigns tab in the navigation. We'll want to change the drop down from recently viewed to all campaigns. That should present you with all the campaigns that you have access to, whereas I might see thousands. Some users will only see one. Others could see up to 50. So it could be clear as day which campaign you should be moving campaign members in and out of. If a campaign name is not jumping out at you here and you know the name of the report or the data extension that you usually send to, and you don't even need to know the whole thing. I'll just put part of it in the search up here. And there's a good chance, again, you won't have access to every single report or every single campaign that exists. So you might be able to find a report and the corresponding campaign this route. But if it's still not clear, you can go ahead and back into the answer as I'll show you in a moment where we're really honing in on the IDs. So we'll be certain that we're looking at the right list when there is any question. What I mean by that is if you're sending to a data extension, so I'm in marketing cloud right now, you would be able to look into interactions and import to get to your data extension. So the same screen that anyone who sends would be familiar with starting to make sure it's as up to date as possible. But what you might not be familiar with is that you could actually open up these data extensions by clicking on the name of them. So after opening my data extension about halfway down under the source area, there's a line that says the Salesforce import currently maps and there's a big number there. And so this is the report ID that coincides with this data extension. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that report ID and go back to Salesforce. And I can go ahead and open up um, any campaign or any report. And what I want here is the URL. There's gonna be a similar number in between these um, slashes that we can swap in that other ID that we just found in our data extension. And this is gonna pull up that corresponding report. So what we'll see here is a filter option on the right-hand side. And you can take that campaign ID that is listed here. It might be campaign ID. It could read campaign name, but those would be the two things that would indicate that your report is based off of a campaign and therefore you can manage campaign members. And if those two lines do not exist here, then that's not going to be available for you, but you could have a separate list that's based off campaign. Uh, that you could manage. So that'd be worth setting up with your e-com specialist initially for you to manage longer term and then just send your email to both um, reports or data extensions. But what I want to do with this campaign ID, because I'm not in a space where I'd be able to add people to this campaign yet, I still need to back into it a little bit further. Um, so similarly, I'm going to paste that ID into the URL. And this will get me from my data extension to my report back to the campaign that it is based off of. I've gone ahead and pulled up this audience creation wiki, which is very much intended for e-com specialists, but I just bring up this diagram as we sometimes we'll start with a campaign if we can't just jump right into a report. A grouping for this audience doesn't already exist in Salesforce. We'll have to do this, but then we always need to convert it to a report. And so that can layer on really those can spam requirements and what people are interested in receiving or not. And if you're just targeting the email field for external populations, you're able to send to those reports. But if not, and they're internal populations for current students or current employees, 
we'd want those going to their university emails. So those need to be converted to data extensions in order to make that happen. So a long process to get you to your ultimate audience and now backing into, um, we'll do the exact reverse to get to the campaign that you should be managing, adding members to and from.